Hey YouTube, it's Jen. So today I have a review of Bath & Body Works' new, er, <laughs> Fine Fragrance Mist. They came out a couple months ago, but I really wanted to take my time, get a few in my possession, and really try them out for a while before I gave you a real review. So I'll go ahead and kind of explain them to you and how the mist kind of evolved. So there are earlier formulations than this, but I don't have them anymore. But this is the earliest one I have. This is when they had their mist in kind of that nice cylinder shape. It was great for storage because they all kind of lined up perfectly. And the spray was really liberal. So it was kind of a wet spray. You see how the mist immediately falls down? And the only problem with this is the fact that when you sprayed it, you had to kind of let the alcohol dry when, after you sprayed it before you really smelt it. Because otherwise you're going to get a really kind of icky alcohol smell that takes away from the scent. But once that dried away, you were fine. You didn't have to worry about it anymore. Then, a few years later, they came out with these guys. And these guys have just recently been discontinued. And these are kind of in a funky shape. It's, I mean, it's pretty, but it wasn't practical for storage. The mist was essentially the same. And now come the fine fragrance mist. I really like these. And I know a lot of people were complaining about the price, but I'll show you how you can get around that in just a few minutes after I'm done telling you about the product. So they went back to the old cylinder, but in my opinion, this new design is so pretty and so classy, and I love the clear lid. My only qualm about this is that you cannot twist the top off. And I don't know about you, but I really like refilling travel sprays so I can, you know, just take those instead of a big giant mist. They took that away. Kind of a bummer. But it's not going to ruin my opinion of the mist. Staying power wise, it's pretty much the same, if not a little bit weaker. Like all of the Bath and Body Works mist, you do have to layer to really get it to last all day. If you use just the mist, you're not going to get much staying power. I always suggest using a matching, matching lotion. But what I do like about the spray is the fact that when you spray it, that icky alcohol scent that you normally had to wait to let dry, it's not there anymore. What I like about these fine fragrance mists is when you spray them, you get the scent immediately and nothing else. It's just the pure fragrance. I don't know if it's because there's a difference in the formula of the spray or the way it's sprayed out of the bottle, but it's so nice. Like I said, it is a little bit softer than the older counterparts, but I feel like less spray comes out. It's, it's a finer mist, like they said. I mean, it's very almost kind of a dry, <laughs> I just got Twilight Woods in my mouth. Really nice. These retail for $14, which the old sprays were $12 to $12.50. Big price increase, a lot of people were upset and still are. There are ways to get around this. I have three fine fragrance mists, Pink Chiffon, and Twilight Woods, and Wild Citrus Sunflower, and I haven't paid for any of them. You have to look out for coupons because while they're not as frequent as ones for the old mist where you can include them and spend $10 and get a free signature item, they now have free fine fragrance mist coupons with a $10 purchase. So not all the time, they're on special occasions, but I'll show you how you can get them. So the first thing you want to do is like Bath & Body Works on Facebook because a lot of times they'll have special deals where you can send, like I think their most recent ones you sent to Mother's Day e-card to someone and it sent them like a free travel size coupon. Really nice and sweet, right? Well, for doing that, they would send you in your email a free fine fragrance mist coupon with a $10 purchase. This was a fantastic deal and I think they've done this twice so far. So that's an opportunity for two free fine fragrance mists. You need a matching lotion anyway, so you can buy the lotion or shower gel and get the mist for free. I would highly recommend taking advantage of this. I mean, you can always do the buy three, get three free, and use your survey coupon, and essentially you're getting them half price. But if you really want to pinch, pinch your pennies, that's a great way to do it. So keep an eye out on those coupons on Facebook. Also, keep an eye out on the email coupons. I know they just re recently sent one out in circulation, you know, free fine fragrance so check that out, and also retailme.com. This website is a lifesaver for coupons. You can always, always, always find some sort of Bath & Body Works deal, and you can find sometimes these on that website. So those are just little tips and tricks on how to kind of dodge that $14 price, uh, because it is rather pricey, but I really, really like the product in this. Because the packaging is great, the mist, you get more of a true scent when you spray it, and I love that. 
So if you have any questions about the fine fragranceness, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.